there is rubble that lines this entire alleyway, and this is all that's left of a garage. Now, right now, fire scene investigators are looking into the cause of this fire, but crews who were here on the scene say they believe that this did not start on its own. It really amazes me that it's burnt to the ground in such a little bit of time. A Dayton garage is leveled by fire. We were sitting out on the porch, and uh, we heard something like a, a storm going on, so we looked around, and... Uh, the, uh, the garage was just going up in flames. The blaze grew so large that a plume of smoke could be seen from blocks away, and the heat took its toll on four other buildings, garages on either side, across the alley, and the home at 33 West Hudson Avenue. I was scared because I thought my house was going to catch on fire. That's how bad it was going. I mean, it was out of control. You would have thought tires was back here burning. While fire scene investigators search for a cause, firefighters on the scene are chalking the flames up to a familiar scenario within the city limits. Investigators have been called, but um, they do look suspicious in origin. So um, all of them are vacant, so we just uh, had an investigator come out, conduct an investigation, and see what they can turn up. Shame on them, and they don't know whose lives they could have hurt and endangered doing something like this, and it was unnecessary because the house was abandoned. There's no value in there. You know, they could have killed them own, their own selves how bad this fire was going. Now, of the five buildings that were damaged, firefighters are calling two of them total losses. Reporting live in Dayton, I'm Holly Samuels, 2 News on your side.